listening to the 1420 Sports Bar Podcast. Four beer with the sports talk and a whole lot more. We are part of the Belly Up Sports Network. Listen in as Brent and Dave invite you to belly up to the bar with them to talk about everything in the world of sports, just like you would do at your favorite watering hole. It's sports, beer, and shenanigans, so belly up to the bar with us, grab a beverage, and let's get into it. The 1420 Sports Bar Podcast Show 287 on this 23rd day of March 2023. Tonight's show is brought to you by Manscaped and Manscaped.com. Use promo code 1420 Scaped and get yourself 20% and free shipping at Manscaped.com for all your personal grooming needs today. Uh, another three or four weeks, whatever we got there with Manscaped. Thank you very much for supporting the show. Dave, um, I find myself as I get older and I don't know what the hell it is. Cause I, 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 I tend to just, I, when I leave the house, I have, and I'm sure you have the same thing that the happy dance keys, wallet, phone, right? You check pockets and make sure you have everything you got to go before you leave the house and glasses or whatever it may be. As we get a little bit older, glasses are, are, are in the equation now, but I think I got to add a, a, a new thing now. Uh, before I left the, the, the house today to go umpire some baseball, uh, I went downtown to Doug Sports to get some uh, equipment that I needed. Um, I noticed that my fly was down. Uh, and I, it, it seems to be happening more, not more often than not, but there's a there's a pretty good percentage uh, percentile of time where I leave the house, my flies down. How many times a week when you leave the uh, the uh, the Dutch oven there? Uh, how many times a week is your fly down? It's it's very rare because. If I'm not at work, my my um I um Levi five hundred one button flies, and so when I'm walking, I can feel it if one's down or like if one button becomes off, and you know I'm so fucking slim that if uh if I'm walking, I I can feel it like the top button's always done up. Oh right? yeah, but I yeah yeah, but I can I can feel it like in my work pants have zippers. Occasionally the barn door does get open but uh, i i check it and then and then someone just always says like barn doors i'm around guys all the time right barn doors open so yeah trolling for suckers yeah. or whatever it's supposed to be uh it's, yeah i don't know what it is like the older you get you just i don't know why you just forget maybe i just got to in my head before you do because maybe because a lot of people do, do zipper button first i i'm a button on obviously zipper optional sometimes and i don't know what it is even today when i put my uh I was getting dressed for to go out in the field there. I was on the plate the first game, and I had my jacket in on and everything ready to go, checking all my stuff, made sure everything. I looked down, yeah, fucking zippers, zippers down. I'm like, fuck me. See, I, and I, I, think I that's don't know what thing. it is. With the zipper, it has to be locked up top, because if you don't get right up top, then it just as you're moving, it becomes, it, it, it works its way down. And if you hurry, oh, fuck, I got to take a piss before I take the field. And you don't have you don't lock that zipper up in 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 position. I think I think I don't know, but it always seems like it's. I I never get barn door open like in the first part of the day. But if I if I if I have to go rock a piss, then shortly after that barn doors open yeah i don't know what it is lately but the fly's been down more not more often than not but she's she's a good 49.2 percent of the time when i leave the house or whatever i fuck me yeah, and i it's like not for long periods of time but just long enough i haven't had anybody tell me to, to hey man your, your flies down uh, i usually catch it myself maybe they, they're just not telling me all oh, the old guys got this fly down again maybe, maybe it's sad i don't know i tell strangers like if i'm in a grocery store or whatever and you know no. what? It's, it's never women because I'd want someone to tell me, and then like you know, if I'm looking for stuff in the like in the grocery store or, yeah. or, or home hardware, and some guy and we happen to like uh, barn doors open. Ooh, geez, thanks. Everybody is appreciative. No one has ever given. I don't me know a nasty if I could look. do that. I don't know if I could tell someone that. I'm I'm a little bit. Uh, I don't know how I can say this because I, you know, I uh, do a podcast for. For, for you know a couple three days a week whatever it oh, is i'm here for the people <laughs> i i don't know if i could do it i don't know if i could say it i, Why I, I don't you i'm like... not because i'm not one for confrontation not confrontation but not one but... for awkward awkward com i'm not one for awkward conversation it's not awkward at all like and i don't i don't joke with them about it like as i'm walking by barn doors open 
Oh, geez, thanks. And that's it. <laughs> no more words. Ex- no more words exchanged. I've said it to people I've never seen it, seen again in my life. Well, no, I think it's. I think that's uh, being a good citizen. Like maybe, might be the next next mayor of Lethbridge for that kind of a deal because it's uh, something's got to be done. Just being I'll good. tell you, your barn door is open. Yeah, there, there's my slogan. Barn the, door the, is the, open. The hard car conversations, yep. and I'm here. To I'll tell have you. the hard conversations. <laughs> Dave Van Robes, the double point at the at, on on the picture. No, we'll no, no, no. I don't make a big deal about it. Like, yeah, it's not like I slap him on the back with a sign saying "barn door open." Oh fuck, you should. That'd be quite funny. Eh? Anyways, no, that's mean. That's mean. Yeah. But if you can't laugh the misfortune of others, so who can you laugh at really when it comes down to it? Anyways, Dave, the uh, World Baseball Classic wound up on Tuesday night. Uh, it, it's almost like the NFL guys were scripting this one as well because the way it the way it turned out with Otani getting the chance to uh, pitch against his teammate Mike Trout, uh, two out, top of nine, uh, one run ball game, nobody on, on and on. The, the double play that got the guy off base and Mookie and the home run that Schwarber hit in the eighth, that unbelievable at bat that Schwarber had. I don't want to get into the, the analytics of it all and, and, and the, the, the the play-by-play breakdown of, of, of the game, but the way that game finished out and the way it all turned out for baseball and for the World Baseball Classic with having two of the biggest, well, the most populated nations who, who play baseball and having the most uh, television sets on in the history of baseball watching that game it couldn't have turned out any better for baseball than it did on tuesday night yeah exactly this is sport this is sport everybody the eyeballs were there unfortunately not mine because it happened to be on tuesday which i had a curl so i could not watch i had to watch highlights later on but like you know to all those naysayers the pundits the whatever the uh this is just a waste of time Go fuck your hat. Then don't watch it. Let the rest of the globe, like you said, baseball for a couple days became a global sport, not an American sport. And that's awesome for any sport. It's awesome for sports fans. It's clearly awesome for the players. And the way it came down with Otani versus uh, Trout to finish the game, the, the, the tournament, it was it was high drama and it was riveting and it was great. No, oh, it was fantastic. I, I was I was glued to the old television set and that and went I was downstairs. I folded everything up downstairs. They had the studio all different and everything else. I, I was watching a baseball game like it was the World Series. It was it was unbelievable. And that at that last at bat and Otani tuned it up to hundred miles an hour. And the kid who started for for, for, for Japan throwing hundred and two early, he's only twenty one years old. Like holy cow. And it was unbelievable to watch. And then like I said, the Schwarber home run to, to get it close in, in the in the eighth and then the ninth. And you had trout up there. And and that just shows how hard hitting is. Like it's 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 hard to hit. And the that the stat that came out afterwards that uh, th- there's only been like three times ever in Trout's career where he didn't make contact. I on, I read that on an at bat. Right, he has over six thousand at bats in his career. Yeah, and he's struck out. Um, without making contact, only twenty four times. And he, like, and he got some pitches to hit. Otani, Otani for the, a couple of fastballs. He said, "Hit it," and he he weren't and he weren't close. And it's like, holy cow! And you got you got to think Trout think, thanking his lucky stars. He doesn't got to hit against that guy this season. Next year, he probably will. But uh, Dave, no, it was a great exhibition of sport, and it was fantastic to watch. And it was great to see. And the thing I like about it, and we'll talk about how how other sports should do it. I don't think the World Baseball Classic brought in a ton of new fans. Like, I, I don't think that that happens. On, on, I completely disagree. Well, let this let me. I, I think it brings in a, uh, people, observers. Like, it brings in some observers that 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 won't watch again uh, for quite some time. But what I think the World Baseball Classic did is it brought fans from the inside out, and it brought a lot of fans who might watch. 10 games a year into 40 game a year people. And I think that, that uh, like, we'll get into the, ho- the hockey, what I want to talk about, but I think it, like, it brings in people outside in for a little bit and then they'll disappear again. But I think it brings in, it grows the game from the inside out a lot more than what people think. Yeah. The way you put that, I, 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 I agree more with what you said than uh, my immediate rejection of whatever you were going to yeah, say. It's like just jump and bounce. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're wrong. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> It, it brought a lot of it. It brought a ton of fringe fans to the to the TV screen. Yeah, 
And, and those are important fans. Those are the fans that you want to make more diehard. Those are the fans of sport that, you know, may just watch the World Series and like, you know, like your Pittsburgh fans, your your um, your Marlins fans, your whatever, your your sh- people that like baseball but don't really care that much. Uh-huh. But now, because it was high stakes, and you see the highlights, and you see the emotions of the players, and you see that it matters to them, and then as a fringe fan, if it, it matters this much to the players, then it matters right. to me as a, as as a sports fan. And 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 the the joy and emotion of the players, um, to the semifinals as as we got closer to the end of this uh this tournament, it was how much it meant to the players. Not translates into it, the crowd. Yeah, was it was apparent, right? Yeah. And the and, and and the emotion on the field, uh, like you said, pushes into the emotion in the crowd. The crowd was electric for those those semifinal games and and Unreal. and obviously the final game, and it's 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 great to see and you know just, not just baseball that's that's sport at its finest best on best and like people can make arguments this guy wasn't here this guy wasn't here. doesn't matter you know it was two really good fucking teams going at it and caring and and they cared because they had the 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 country on the front. Not a dollar sign at the end. Yeah, I know. It was great. To, it's great to see. And then the next day, the, the headlines were up there that Connor McDavid, he watched the game that night. And I, I was unaware that Connor McDavid, why would I know that? Why maybe he's a baseball guy or not? Or maybe he's not. He just that this is on. But it's time that the NHL, and I really believe this. And we, I've thought this for a long time. One of the greatest exhibitions of hockey I ever saw in my life was the 1996 World Cup of Hockey. And it was fantastic. Yes, it's only eight nations and everything else. And then there's only eight nations who are actually, and it's, 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 it's horrible to say, there's eight to ten nations who are any good at hockey. So maybe we should keep it that way. We'll get to that in a second. But uh, McDavid, he's one of the greatest hot. Well, he's the greatest hockey player to play the game. He plays video. He's playing at video game speed. Got his 60th goal last night and everything else. And and he said, it's time we got to get this done. We got to we got to start playing best on best hockey. I haven't had a chance to really do it. He had that cockamamie thing in 2000. Fucking fourteen or fifteen, whatever oh, it was. The young guns, the young guns Europe, sing, and then yeah. they had they had Team Europe and that that World yeah. Cup of Hockey, that Batman thing, like just an absolute absolute joke of a of a tournament that nobody cared it, because it's a joke. It was a joke of a tournament, and you know this. Uh, hockey has a situation now where there's a passing of the torch with Ovechkin's going to be leaving the next couple of years. Sidney Crosby's going to be leaving the next couple of years. Uh, hockey's had a really good opportunity here with Crosby to uh, pass the torch per se. To Team Canada, uh, a best on best thing. Yes, COVID got in the way. And I, I get that, but it doesn't seem like the NHL gets it, and and they they don't see how this best on best stuff can grow the game. And I, I and this is another thing i think hockey's trying to find fans that will never watch hockey whereas fans what what they need to do is focus on guys like you who used to watch hockey a lot more and and get them to watch to watch more and maybe something like a best on best might draw some more interest without a doubt because like i just said about the baseball classic you know the 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 emotion and and how they're playing the game and they're playing it for each other is is ridiculously entertaining the emotion it, it even translates to the the screen, you know. And for hockey, I don't necessarily care. I'd prefer it be the Olympics. I really would. Uh-huh. But I also do understand why owners don't want to shut down the league for for two and a half weeks. The, you know that that is a drag. Yeah. And then it's also a drag for the players, especially the players that aren't on the team, right? So they got well. Maybe it's great for them because they got a vacation, but. Now they have a compressed schedule. Yep. They have to. There's less off days. There's less the, the less this, less less that. Let's have a scheduled every two to three years World Cup of Hockey. And it doesn't like when we were kids. Canada it was Cup, the man. Cup. Like I'll never forget as long as I live. Yeah, with Lemieux, Gretzky, and Howard Chuck trailing. Right, like like you're getting that. that that's thing. now 36 years ago. Right. Yeah, and I, I know. I school. I still yeah. know to this moment exactly where I was. 
when Canada scored that goal. And the, and it's still it's and, and it's not only one of the greatest moments in in uh, Canadian hockey, it's one of the greatest moments in hockey. And it's Gretzky Lemieux and two of the best ever, you know, Mount Rushmore kind of guys. And hockey's just blowing it right now by not doing something to get these guys on the ice somehow some way. And 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 to and if they yeah, it's not a goal and <laughs> This might sound shitty. Hockey's not a global game. It never will be. It, it's just, it's just not. It, it well, never, because there's not ice everywhere. There's not right? ice everywhere, and it's just not. Like only twenty percent of the population. And how they're and how they're trying to grow the game, and this what this is what I get when I my my statement about baseball, like how hockey is trying to grow the game from the outside in, doesn't make sense. They got to go from the inside out and and make it more accessible to people who play it, people who watch it, people who enjoy it. And get them back into the game a little bit more instead of trying to get some guy in fucking Australia to watch the game. They don't care, man. They don't, and they never will. You might get a, a fringe group who go to the local pub on a Saturday afternoon and find a game somewhere. But, but you're not growing the game. But there you're not Australia. growing the game yeah. there. You're not. And and hockey's been trying to do that for so long since Bettman got in there, and Bettman's done a lot of good for hockey. I think he's a jack fucking ass but whatever it's my opinion i'm entitled to it but um they're trying to grow the game to people who are never going to watch and i don't understand what the point is we live in it we live in a in a, a place in the world dave that isn't far from the united states border we could go to certain states where they don't care and they never will even in montana they kind of watch but they don't really watch and it's just right there it's two hours away they don't care. Quit trying to go to the game to people who are never going to care. Bring exactly. The people, bring the people back that, that actually care. That's 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 a good thing because as, as opposed to, to looking for the the revenue streams and trying to try, trying to squeeze a little bit more uh juice out of those uh fans that are already in it, right? They're gonna but the fans that aren't in it, the fans that are gonna that you want to sell the streaming service to in five years, in 10 years, where's their memories of sitting and watching a game? Like, you know, my kid doesn't watch a game with me. Not that I watch that many, but he won't. But if Canada's playing U.S. in the finals, he's sitting down and watching. With and me. that, and that's the thing. Like, you, you can say that, like, the, the biggest hockey rivalries will be Canada, Russia, Canada, USA. And that's just what it is. And that's what it's all. It's going, that's what it's going to be till me and you are both fucking dead and gone. Because that, that's only... 40 to 50 years from now, whatever it may be. And, but, and nothing is going to beat that in the next 40 to 50 years. Sweden gets in there once in a while, but Sweden never wins because there's too many fucking Swedes. The Finns get in once in a while. The Slovaks get in once in a while and, and, and the like. But in general, the two biggest rivalries are Canada, Russia, and Russia can't even play anymore because there's sanctions and everything else that's going on in, in the world with the Ukraine war and everything else. But the biggest hockey countries in the world are Canada, Russia, and Canada, United States. So why not just promote that and make sure that they're playing a best on best at least every four years? You know, and and let's at not least. and let's let's not discount the the Swedish or Finnish fans too, because obviously watch with the it. time difference, I, I don't know how much NHL hockey those those people actually watch, but I I I'm, I'm gonna guess, and I have no no way of knowing this. That when it is international competition and the and the Swedes are playing Canada, they want to watch that. Hundred percent. They want to watch this, you know. And and Germany and Switzerland are both um, making strides over the last. Like the World Juniors over the years, Swiss Swiss have been making ways and upsetting the team here and there. They they never end up winning fuck all, but they 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 win a couple games. They scare some teams and they they get into a bronze medal situation. And, and same with the Czechs, right? The and the Czechs, Czechs the same way. So, yeah. And, and the thing is, like even like the World Baseball Classic, Dave, there was a lot of teams, Canada included, who who were not going to win that thing. They weren't. And that, and that's just fact. And it's not it's not saying that they're 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 bad baseball players. They're just not as good. Um, hockey has to quit trying to fucking do something that they're not. Yes, you you put out the best ten teams you can out there because there's actually more countries now, Dave, than there were when the Canada Cups were happening. There's more countries that like they're just because the splits of everything else, right? <laughs> Geography. Well, even back in the day, the Canada Cup days, it was Canada Russia because the USA, no what. yeah. USA were like was competitive, but they didn't have a chance. The Czechs were okay. The, the this, Czechs, yeah, but this, that was it. This was the yeah. Czech. Re, this was Czechoslovakia, not even the Czech Republic. Right. This right? is before. So, this is before the wall came down. The wall right? came down. The yeah. This the was USSR. Else, right? CCCP. Yeah. 
That always confused me when I was a kid that there was US, USSR, but it was CCCP on their jerseys. I mean, I, I have no idea. I, I still don't know. But yeah, it's uh, can't like hockey has to find a way to get back doing it because they're losing a whole generation of of uh, of memories like like your son Jasper, who would have been my age uh, back then in the in the eighty seven Canada Cup because I was thirteen years old, right? And I remember this to this day. And they're 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 going to have a a, a, a ten year span where Connor McDavid has not played a best on best situation where Sidney Crosby hasn't played the end of his career, where Alex Ovechkin hasn't played the end of his career for his country, which he dearly loves. And hockey is completely fucking blowing it by, by, and I don't know what the reason is. Yes, we can blame COVID a little bit and yes, the other federations, but figure it out, man. You got to figure it out. 100% because let's say you're a Canucks fan. Let's say if you're a, um, a, a Senators fan, whatever, one guy on your team is on the national team, and now you have a hockey memory of your team uh-huh. winning, right? Um, not every team can win, and we all know in every pro- professional sports, there's always the, that bottom third that's never going to win. Like the 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 planets are going to have to align, and the sun is going to have to shine on that. But let's dog say in down. Ottawa, like not like if in in. Ottawa, the Brady Kachuk, yeah, he's an American, I get it. But let, let's say that Brady Kachuk is playing, and some some kid from St. Louis says Brady Kachuk's from St. Louis. I'm from St. Louis. He's playing for Team USA. That's something that he'll 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 uh, hook his wagon to, and then he might you know he might end up being a uh, uh, Ottawa Senators fan. Like it, it's 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 not. I don't think it's that hard to figure out that you you need to get eyeballs who want to watch the game onto it don't try to get eyeballs who aren't watching the game like it's not like i'm promoting this fuck our podcast on the fucking cook cooking network you know right. get, you get know, people who want to watch it to watch it i don't think it's it, that hard and, and it's the owners of the league because like who's going to get the money who's going to pay for insurance it's all about the fucking dollars yeah, and cents business and, right? and like you know an emotion doesn't matter to them and and i understand it but you know at the end of the day the emotion should carry some water every now and then and and the enjoyment of the fans should carry a shit ton of water for them just because that money isn't going directly into your pocket but eventually it will it will you know you're sowing the seeds and then when they become fans they're going to continue to be fans and they're going to follow more they're going to watch more and then there's there's your dollars and cents coming back you know, like, I don't know if there's any, I, I pick on this team all the time because I, I can't fucking stand what that owner has done to the Pittsburgh Pirates. You know, uh, I don't know who built that barn. I can't imagine this guy did. Um, but then just destroying it, his it, team. It would have been, it would have been government funds. That's American. Americans yeah. do that a lot more than Canadians do, for sure. The, the, the Pirates and Cincinnati Reds. It's just an absolute travesty what's happening to those once proud franchises with owners that don't give a fuck about putting a competitive yeah. team. You know, I, I at least those players now, if if one or two, I don't know who was on any team, but if, if some, some Pirates fans, uh, sorry, some Pirates players or some Reds players were on, the, on, on any of those international teams, Good for them. Actually, I get it. It was only for two weeks in spring training, but they got to play meaningful baseball for a change and they got to feel what it's like. So that helps too. Yeah. Like it's, it's so, and let's talk about the Reds for half a second, David. I, I don't know why I, I thought about this, but like Joey Votto's on the twilight of his career and uh, injured a little bit now and then. He's a Canadian guy, obviously, but uh, the, the, the Reds management is open to, to trading him off now. They should have done that three fucking years ago and said, get rid and get some assets. Now, now you have an aging asset who ain't going to do anything. So now that the Reds are just blowing it again with their, with their most valuable player, with their only face of their franchise. And now there's, yeah, we could probably get rid of him now. What are you going to get for Joey Votto now? At 25 mil per. What are you going to get? Yeah. Like, and you know, and, and, you know, he used to be a red ass. Now he's beloved by everybody because he doesn't take himself so seriously. Yeah. He's there for the fans. He's like, there's no one better for the fans. Like the the, the shit I see that guy do. He's funny to me. Yeah, he's, it, uh, it's he's funny different. and it's hilarious. And he, and he's beloved. And and like you say, like, what are you gonna do? Like trade him for what a a third round pick? You can't trade for picks in baseball because no, they're even gold. A top t- 
a top 10 isn't a guaranteed anything yeah they, 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 they treat them like gold and then they treat them like shit when it's all when it's all said and done they don't let them play for five years because there's a how it all works out no but hockey gary batman's got to figure it out the the, the the owners got to figure it out. They got to start getting eyeballs on it. Uh, hockey's in a, in a very good state right now. I don't think the game's better. It's a better product, but I don't think the game's better. Like the, the television thing is, I don't think it's as good. There isn't, there's some, there's just things missing. We talk about that a lot on our show, but hockey's got to figure it out or they're, they're going to lose an entire generation of fans like your son that just aren't going to care and, and won't have those, those, uh, those Kodak moments and the like, cause they, they're, they're passing, they're passing them by. There's no doubt about that. 2010 is, it's already 13 years ago it's 13 years ago right the golden goal is 13 years ago and sid isn't the kid anymore and it's as simple <laughs> yeah. as that it's as simple as that and that the rest of the hockey the hockey world doesn't get a chance to see mcdavid play like you say you don't know what the time zones are and if they're watching nhl hockey uh over over in sweden and finland and everything else because they have their own leagues and that go on so uh, like the rest of the the hot the people who actually watch hockey aren't getting a chance that isn't four in the morning to watch this guy play hockey and and, and that's a shame and, and hockey is completely fucking blowing it blowing it yeah, and you know, like me not being a hockey uh, honk or whatever like that. Just the thought of having McKinnon and Drysaddle, uh, uh, sorry, McKinnon and McDavid on the same line mm-hmm. with whoever. But all I Put all McCarr I want to on say, the back end, and with McCarr on the back end, like you Jeez. know, Canada doesn't Who's have the that? best goalies. Yeah, exactly. And and, and they who can, can put me in that maybe, Okay. Yeah. Like seven four, baby. Like seven six. I don't care. Seven, maybe seven six. But those fuckers have so much skill and are so fucking fast. Like it's it's to have them together to have such elite talent playing together. You just honestly want to know what that might look like. Yeah, baseball figured it out last last week. I mean, they they they, they caught lightning in a bottle. Obviously, having Trout and Otani finish it off. It's, that's a, a script made in Hollywood. Obviously, maybe maybe it was. Maybe the NFL script writers were in on that. Who knows? The fix we might have been in. But uh, no, it was great. It was a great finish. The World Baseball Classic uh, for a baseball dork like myself. It was no. It was it was fantastic. And the people who just uh, average baseball fans were watching it too. And it's it's been the talk of the baseball world when it's around the field today. People were like, "Did you see that? Yeah, it, it was great." It was great, and, you know what? And, and hockey doesn't have have that have that kind of chatter. It doesn't. And then I also as to that World Baseball Classic, do you know who nobody's talking about? The home plate umpire. That at bat with Trout, he nailed every fucking pitch. He got every call right. Yeah, and he was good. good he, for and, him. and the guy, the, the announcer, I can't remember who the umpire was. I should I should know the name considering I'm an umpire. Um, it doesn't. <laughs> the <laughs> the announcer was saying he's got tight tight strike zone. Lance Barkdale. Lance Barksdale, that's who it was. Uh, he said he got tight strike zone. No, he had a, he had the right strike zone. He had the right strike zone, and it was he was he was good all game long. Like he had a really good game, and uh, yeah, you know it was fantastic. I don't know if you like how much you you heard of it. The like if you watched WBC in thirty or whatever it was, but the final. But uh, there was a couple of cheesy remarks that the announcer had that I was like, okay, like fuck off. Like he goes, America shortstop. Shut up! Uh, talking about Trey Turner, like it's like, oh. okay, he's he's really good, and I get it, and it's baseball, like it's team Team USA, and but he's not America's shortstop, like he's just fuck off. And then they kept uh, saying the two the two best players in baseball. There's a guy who's not too bad who wears pinstripes, so they, should, they probably should have just two of the best players in baseball with Otani and Trout, right? It what? was just. It's just you could kind well, of word things a little and bit judge, differently. Yeah, Judge is the best home run hitter in baseball. He's one of the top, like he's one of the top fielders in baseball. But yeah, anyway, it doesn't no, much I matter. I, I just, no, I no, just, no. And like the Yankees are more important to him than the, the sport or his country, and that's fine. You can there might have been something in a contract, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Right? It's one of those things. Yeah, like I don't know. Like, I I don't care. Like I I care less who plays those teams. Like I just rather watch good baseball, and it was great to watch. And, and it was good yeah, baseball. It was. Anyways, the fourteen twenty sports bar podcast for beer, sports talk, and a whole lot more. This segment brought to you by Manscaped and Manscaped.com. Use promo code one four two zero Scaped at Manscaped.com today and save yourself twenty percent on uh, and free shipping on all their men's personal grooming products today make it you just listen to the 1420 sports bar podcast four beer the sports talk and a whole lot more we are part of the belly up media network let's get into it man 